you know, mood changes, um, sleep patterns. Um, if they start wandering, going places that they haven't been before um, without supervision. They've done this all their life. They've gone for walks. And you know, it, it comes a point sometimes where they will just walk out the door. I think loss of independence is probably the biggest, one of the biggest things that they go through. Our goal is to keep them in the home as long as they can. And our second goal is to keep them from being readmitted to the hospital. You know, if they have a diagnosis of high blood pressure, diabetes, whatever, we keep a close eye on those things and make sure that they're all okay so that they're not admitted to the hospital. We're not all Alzheimer's people, people with various strokes. Um, traumatic brain injuries, um, they mesh, they get along. The people that do not have dementia realize the ones that do, and they're very accepting. Um, they're more than happy to help. They're patient, they're thankful. We very rarely run into conflicts with folks with or without it. It's about the family, it's about the unit. It's not just about the the client that's here. It, it's about the whole the whole family.